Coleman, who just Tuesday of last week turned 20 years old. Watch him as he climbs through 2,000 feet above the ground and does his high show for us right here at our show. Back down now, building up energy, closing in on that 500 foot hard deck. and he picks up his energy one more. 200 miles per hour. This is called the Nickelator. Named after the late Nick Nilmeyer, a friend of Kevin's and many of the year's show business. Look at that tumble. Well, yeah, that's the Nickelator. Kevin's coach, Bill Stein, one of Kevin's coaches. Bill Stein. He does one half now of an octagon loop. He'll pull 45, working the energy just the best he can, and now across the top. Watch him accelerate out of it, roll the airplane upright. Now watch the nose come up. He'll bleed off the energy and set up for what we call the mini loop. A beautiful barnstormer's loop and only of about 300 feet of altitude. I know Kevin Coleman, ladies and gentlemen, give this newcomer a big round of applause. Louisiana left, left as he calls it. A lot of left rudder, a lot of left stick. Now at 500 feet, he's got the energy fuel. and then the development of composite materials that are able to withstand very, very high G loading. Uh, they, have, uh, they have changed the way a lot of people fly in these monoplanes now that only weigh about 1,200 pounds are, are dominating the sport of aerobatic competition and uh, even the Red Bull Air Race World Championship. This one, MT Propeller, a light homing engine, and uh, Walter Extra was the designer builder in Germany. And we've got this, this particular one flown by the newcomer, Kevin Coleman. He's going to come by. So when he goes by, you give him a big old wave. We 
have a 12 year old male named Samuel. He's got white sleeveless uh, shirt and gray sports shorts and with a VIP pass to the media tent and an orange headset. So if anybody sees Samuel, maybe you can uh, direct him toward uh, one of the uh, uniformed members here from the guard on the base and we'll get him reunited with his parents. We'll get him all set up. Guy Dive Newport there playing on the landing roll. Uh, he's just about ready to uh, touch down, I should say. And making along the runway is Kevin Coleman. Give him a wave, everybody. Now the reason he's snaking back and forth like that, he's not out of control, he can't see over the nose, and so what he does, pushes on the left rudder pedal, looks out the right, then pushes on the right rudder pedal, and looks out the left so he can see where he's going. The aircraft that are flown here at the Rhode Island Air National Guard are the latest